Hello and thanks for joining us tonight. The Jones County Sheriff's Office released body cam and dash cam video capturing a Jones County deputy getting shot early Sunday morning. Sheriff Butch Reese says a bulletproof vest saved Deputy John Kyle's life. Ashton Webb watched the video along with the sheriff and patrol captain. She explains what she saw in our top story tonight. Yes, everyone in that room had chills watching this traffic stop unfold. This was supposed to be a routine traffic stop, but it quickly turned into a moment of life and death for a Jones County deputy, a call of a shot fired and a 20 minute chase. The video shows 24 year old Zachary Oliver driving about 35 in a 55 mile per hour zone and weaving. Deputy John Kyle turns on his lights and Oliver struggles to pull over. Once he does, yeah, Deputy Kyle park. talks to him for about two minutes. Put it in park. Out. Kyle tries to get Oliver to park the car, no, sir, unbuckle his seatbelt, and step out of the I vehicle. That car, what do you got I in there? Nothing man? in here. Okay. Nothing. I'm just asking. This is my home. Shots fired! Shots fired! Kyle calls for backup, and Oliver Shots takes fired! off, starting a chase. Kyle had been shot, but he never stopped the car. He stayed in pursuit, even while backup was still trying to catch up to the chase. You'll see that the deputy, he passes the ambulance that's actually coming to give him medical attention. Uh, that shows to the character of the Jones County deputies that, you know, he's making sure that Jones County's safe, get the bag off before he lets the ambulance check on him. Over the next several minutes, Oliver stops and starts driving. He even waves back up patrol cars around his car. Meanwhile, ahead of the chase, a deputy lays right, down tire spikes. I got strikes. him, I got him. I got him. He should be going flat, guys. Within a minute, Oliver's tires flat, and deputies safely perform a pit maneuver. Oliver pulls up the gun to shoot again. Deputy Kyle shoots Get out of the vehicle. and warns his fellow gun. deputies. Gun, gun, gun. And then Deputy Kyle stays until Oliver is placed in handcuffs. Well, he's got a great deal of character to, to go through with it, to um, see it from the being shot to the end. Sheriff Butch Reese says it's an emotional video to watch. I've been here a long time, 77 years old. These are my children. Now, after the arrest, Deputy Kyle was taken to Atrium Health Navizant, where he was treated and released. Sheriff Reese says he's expected to be on the job soon. As for Oliver, he's now in Augusta being treated at a mental health facility after making a suicide attempt yesterday, Sheriff Reese says. He faces charges of aggravated assault. Reporting in Jones County, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Amazing News. And Sheriff Reese says his office is working with Gwinnett County that respond to multiple calls about Oliver in the past week, including a shooting. The sheriff says Oliver's parents contacted Gwinnett County earlier this week to get mental health help for their son.